Hello and welcome to the Bruce the Dalek channel. My name's Keith. Uh, hopefully you're still following along with the tutorials on how I've built my Dalek. Maybe not how to build the Dalek, but how I built mine. Currently we're going to have a look at the uh, Mystic Ball. We're going to see how we can turn this into ball joint on your uh, either your plunger or your gun. What I've got to do on this is roughen it up a bit Fill in the gap with some P38 and um, fingers crossed very soon this will be complete. I'll be able to put it away until the rest of the Dalek gets put together. This is the ball I uh, cut the hole right the way through for the plunger arm. Now I've seen some on the Dalek forum that show members taking the uh, inside out of the actual ball itself. But I found once I'd cut the hole in the back side where the uh, where the number 8 is or whatever it is. Once I fit through there there's a nice little ring on the inside of it that gives a, quite a bit of support to the uh, to the tube that goes through. Instead of cutting all of this out on the glass side, if you cut the hole, drain all the liquid out of it and then roughen up the edge, it becomes like a, a, a kind of a grip to hold on. When it's going to be complete I'm going to fill it with P38 around the outside and it will get rid of all these little sharp little edges. Okay first things first what we have to do is safely remove the liquid. Sit your ball on, get some kitchen roll like that and place it over and if you put your drill through the kitchen roll just ever so slightly just very slowly drill into it. Wipe up the majority of the splashes now you'll need to make a few holes in this. If you need to, change the kitchen roll. Wipe put the uh, drips. Here's one I prepared earlier. Now that one, the, uh, the diameter of hole is just about one and a quarter inch. You've got to make sure that what you cut out is going to be enough to still grip but at least uh, allow you to uh, empty the thing out. I do recommend, for health and safety and environmental reasons, that you get rid of the liquid inside of it very carefully and don't just tip it down the drain. As you can see with the four holes, nothing happens. If you need to, you can make some more holes. So once you've got enough holes in it, you should be able to... I'm to be careful with this. And this is why we've got the tray. Once you've uh, drained the middle bit, you'll find that uh, the liquid will actually start coming out from other areas including the join around the middle. There we go, it's a bit further. The plastic on the top is actually quite uh, quite soft and if you're very careful you should be able to use a Stanley knife and go around but be very very careful. Warning! 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 Sharp implements being used! You can get the idea. We've got a hole down to the bottom there. It's an inch diameter for the gun and for the um, plunger it's an inch and a quarter. Well, here we go. Into a slightly different drill bit. There we go. As you can see there, I've got the uh, end of the tube in. And obviously when the other end lines up, we'll be able to go right the way through. Okay, we've got a hole in the top of the uh, Mystic Ball and now we're going to put a, uh, a hole in it. A one inch hole with a hole saw. There we go. Now, that's actually the plug for the liquid should you actually take it out of the bottom end. So next thing to do is just simply to take those three screws out and you will have a hole uh, right the way through. You should be able to take that out. As you can see, that's the uh, that's the plug. Oh. Now, all we need to do now is I'm going to put the whole the whole saw right the way through it without cutting fingers off. A couple of marks where it should be. So we've got the internal there, that's the gun. 
As you can see with this one, unfortunately, it looks like the uh, hole saw hasn't quite put an inch in, so I've got a bit of filling to do there. Put the side by side, so we've got the, uh, got the plunger arm there and the gun arm there. After a bit of sanding down, you can see the one on the left is sanded with all the markings off. It's got a very dull matte finish now. And the other one is the unsanded one. Argos at the moment, with the uh, well, at least with the summer 2010 catalogue, is selling the black date ball, which is handy for the eyes. But unfortunately, the price of those is about 6.99. So if you want to go for the 6.99 um, instead of the 2.99, which these pink ones were, at least I'll be able to paint them how I want. Uh, your other option is the Hannah Montana date ball, as you can see. This was at B&M, and this was also, well, this was actually three ninety nine. I couldn't get any more pink ones, so this date ball is actually going to end up being the eye. Until next time, I hope this is useful. I'll see you on the forum and back in the Bruce the Dalek channel very soon. Take care, be safe, and don't take any risks. Goodbye.